So I'd like to take this time to say, Gosling, um, you, you were right about the armor. Uh, I know, sir. I don't suppose we could try talking to any of these. No, do not try talking to them. We come in pe- never mind. <laughs> to the left, sir. The big red building on the left, sir. I'm right behind you. Great. I don't think the cows are vicious, sir, but I would not recommend interacting regardless. I do not like this place. Yeah, I don't either, but it's the best we got, sir, so uh, let's just head in. Let's just head in. I think I have a cave over here. Ooh, or there's another cave under here. Yes, let's, let's hide in the deep, dark cave. What can possibly go wrong? Okay. It seems quieter, at least. Yeah, it's not raining. Toss me some wood, I'll get started on the basic crafting instruments. Okay. Really? One at a time? Sir, this is how I do it. Life or death situation? Yes, sir. There you go, sir. <laughs> this is how we were taught in basic training. You know, it, I have to admit it, when we had the original plan to go off into space, this wasn't what I was expecting. No. I thought there'd be more, you know, diplomatic things. People talking at parties with strange aliens. I mean, if you talked with, you know, Captain Econ, it definitely was a, a world of meet interesting, largely female aliens, develop relations with them. I, I won't go into details, you know, mixed company. Uh, you know Captain Econ is a horrible misogynist, right? How dare you? He is a leader. Yeah, a horrible misogynistic leader. I'm going to throw that out to the, to the chaotic madness that has taken you for being marooned. Sure. He is my captain, and I will serve him faithfully. But he is a horrible misogynistic leader. Oh my god. You know, no, no matter how many times you have all of your molecules disassembled and reassembled, you never get used to it. My chunk um, feels weird now because of that conversation earlier. All right, why don't you teleport your, the do other... Do you get that little metallic taste in the tip of your tongue? I've mm. been told that that leads to problems later on. Yes, actually. You like, should. it's something I should actually get checked out right yeah, now. From you too many you teleporting, should. that you get, get that little bit of the tip of your tongue. All right, can you stick out bit. your tongue? Uh, yeah, you should have that looked at. Uh, give me the artifact. I'll it's not it. forked or anything, is it? Not yet. Oh, okay. Uh, why don't I start the artifact while you uh, bring up the others? Okay. Uh, artifact, artifact, artifact. There Think. you go. Right. We'll uh, be careful with up. that. It's worth... Uh, well, it looks like it's worth quite a bit of money. Doesn't it? Yep. Right. Let's lock it in this one right here, I guess. Teleporter. I mean, Let's see. What did Dr. Swick call it looks this? The discombobulator? Weird. Hello? Can you guys hear me down there? Are you in position? We're picking up a lot of static right now. It's hard to, to hear you guys. Uh, we're activating the teleporter. Uh, welcome back. Oh. Uh, oh. Dr. Swickness, if you could come here for a second. I'm getting, every time I teleport, like a metallic taste. Is anybody else getting this, like in the tip of my tongue? I'm oh, I heard that's really bad for you. Isn't I'm that like a sign that of, his... Of the space madness? Is well, it safe to come through the teleporter yeah. room yet? Uh, uh, you know what, no, Captain? No, no, no. Captain. We got to bring up Frog and Gosling. Right. Uh, I'll just right. stay out here then. Space Madness is... Uh, the science is still out. The science is still out in the Space Madness. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, all right. Are you sure about that, Doc? Sorry, I'm charging up the teleporter right now. How bad was the storm in the cave, guys? It was getting pretty ugly. Two's clear. Can you... Do you read us down on the planet? Okay, uh, looks like the teleport is charged. I'm going to bring back up Gosling Ooh. at... What was that? That Devmo? wasn't me. I, I didn't even hit the switch. Devmo? Oh! Oh! oh. Devmo! Help. Devmo! Help. Get closer to the base! Okay. No, 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 they train, oh they train oh, us for this at captain school. All right, Ellie, we need to assess the situation. Who's here? Uh, you and I. Okay, let's number each other off. I'll be one and you be two. Ready? Well, so wait, it's... why can't I be one? Okay, you be one, I'll be two. Ready? Okay. Start, start the number. One. Two. Okay. Uh, good. Uh, we seem to be missing <laughs> <laughs> Doc Swick and, uh, 
Ed, Ed Devbo. Um, okay. Let, let's. Sounded maybe like the explosion switch? was coming from here. We need to check to make sure that there's oxygen. <sighs> okay, seems good right here. <laughs> All right, uh, checking for poisonous gases right now. Everything seems to be okay, and uh, wait, are you really doing a sniff test? Captain? Who's the captain here? Okay. Also, I'm checking the door right now. Uh, it does not appear to be warm. Are, are now, on a spaceship, is that good or bad? Because the vacuum of space is very cold. So if the door isn't warm at all, that's not a great thing, right? I forget. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh God. Oh, fuck. Okay. Cap. Cap. Didn't there used to be more ship here? I'm almost certain of that, yes. Uh, Devmo! <laughs> and I... Dev Flight Officer Devmo, can you... Oh, I just remembered that sound doesn't actually carry in space because of science and reasons. Um, okay, um... Uh, okay, we need to address this. Uh, we've got a breach. We need to lock down this sector. Um... Cool, let's walk back inside and put up wall. Oh! oh. Uh, a wall. Captain. Duxwick, can you... Uh, oh. I'm afraid we've Hi. lost flight. Duxwick, uh, just really quickly before you say anything else, uh, you're number three. So if we can get a numbering off again, uh, make one. sure that... Two. Three. Three. Okay. Well done. Ev yeah. Everyone accounted for in an emergency situation. Okay. Uh, sorry. Go on. What were you going to say, Duxwick? Uh, we appear to have lost um, flight assistant Devmo. He, Wait, what do you mean lost him? He... Um, I I, 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 well, he's, it's, it's space, man. Can't we fly the ship down there and pick him up? That's what I was assuming we were about to go do. Uh, Captain, he's like floating in space, right? I saw him get flown into the vacuum of space. Well, can't we, can't we track his, his signal or something? Don't we all have implants? S Shh, sir, uh... <laughs> Yes, we have implants. That doesn't work if the biological component is gone. Dear God. <sighs> this part of a captain's job is never easy. Never gets any easier either. But... Dibs! I call dibs on his stuff. It's all no, mine. No, no. Wait, what? I get his books. Nope. I get his <laughs> books. Wow. All right, so I think I can make... Stuff to uh, take some copper, maybe make some iron tools, and then we'll do some exploring. Iron from copper? Well, no, there's copper and there's iron. Oh, oh, I see. I didn't do crazy well in chemistry, but uh, still. Yeah, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not sure how this is going to work. Okay, sir, we're going to have to fight our way in, I think. Did you make an iron sword while you were down there? I did. Um, I have uh, basics of armor, too. Oh, that's good. Okay. This is drier. <laughs> oh, let's go in there. Up the stairs. Upstairs. Got it. Creeper. Uh, I thought I saw something over... Yeah, there's definitely some sort of strange... Almost a uh, human habitation looking thing. Oh yeah, definitely a room. Across the way? I don't know how we're gonna get to that though. Well, I don't, well, it looks like there's a walkway up here. I have a staircase. Okay, let's go up there. Want me to go first, sir? <laughs> yes. Okay, I've got a creeper. You got your sword out, sir? I'm ready. Okay, I think the swords might be a little bit more effective in this uh, situation. Next time we go on one of these uh, diplomatic exploration missions, I would like uh, an arc cannon. Is an arc cannon a thing? Uh. Or, or some sort of particle beam gun? I think we can get in here, sir. Do you want to go in through the roof? Uh, yes. Probably I should go through first, just in case... Uh, Whoever lives here is friendly. Okay. And you should probably go first in case not. Okay. Uh, down again? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they've had some uh, ground shifting since they built this, I think. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, let's try this way. There's definitely gonna be life somewhere here. Ooh, carrots. Crops like this... They're not gonna mind, right? No, I don't think so. I mean, it is a survival situation, and, uh... We've got guns. How is that always your solution? I mean, I understand that not having a gun has been a downside. Sir? Yeah. There's a squid in the protein pool. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Should we kill it? You know, the squid seems okay. Do you think it's feeding on the protein? Let's put that into a category to try later. Okay. Oh, there are people here. Oh, oh. Sir, sir, do you really? Hello? Sir? Um, Gosling, they're okay. Um, they're saying that if we can come around, we can get into their place and out of the creeper storm. Okay. Oh, we definitely want to close the door behind you, though. Uh, they're surprised to see us. We look really weird. Hold on, I I'm going to explain where we came from and what we're doing here. A gossip, uh, we need yes, to put sir. the swords away. I'm giving them a gift of bread. Is it bread made from their own wheat, sir? Uh, well, technically no, but don't have them look in my pockets. Uh, the, the bread's good. I, I think we're, we're safe to just hang out here for a while. Hopefully we can get some information. Oh, they're, they're offering a gift in return. Uh, it's cake. We should probably check to see if it's poison. After you. Okay, sir. Should I eat it? Yes. It would be rude not to. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think it's poison, nom, nom, nom. sir. It's actually quite tasty. No, yeah, that's actually quite delicious. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, okay. He says that the, the skull thing that we saw in the ruins, it, it was, in fact, a warning. Okay. Um, apparently, that entire area is cursed. Uh, You're talking about the place where I set on fire? Uh, okay, yeah, apparently that's the remnants of a war hundreds of years ago that they credit with destroying all of their civilization. They were once a spacefaring culture, uh, but then they ran into these aliens, their entire thing was cursed, and the big pools of metal we see are the remnants of the ships that were vaporized from space, and the proteins are what little they could do against the aliens. Ew. So did you just tell an alien race that we stole their stuff? Well, I, I told them that we were investigating the, the ruins. Okay. Do you think that was wise? Um, I think that we're more likely to get help if we give them the full information. Okay, sir. I'll follow your lead. Okay, sure. Sure. I'll, I'll go with it. Okay. Um, apparently, we can get more information and possibly some tech to comp to uh, connect with and communicate with the ship if we head to the larger settlement to the north. Also, they're, they're seeming less comfortable with us staying here in the house with them because we've been in the ruins and may be cursed. <coughs> this is definitely a sign that we need to be heading out. Um, okay, well, okay. <coughs> oh, okay, and uh, uh, we're getting kicked out. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. We got the information we needed. We just need to get to the north, find the settlement, uh, possibly not tell them about uh, our little sojourn into the ruins, and uh, see if we can get access to some of their old civilization space technology, and uh, build a communicator to get back in touch with the ship. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, whatever you say, sir. I'm with you. Dr. Swickness, can we get a sit rep, please, on the state of the ship right now? Uh... Captain, I know it's difficult to hear in such a traumatic situation, but uh, we've suffered a tremendous loss of power. That explosion has knocked out quite a bit. Uh, we've, oh, God. We 
Uh, I'm sorry, sir. We need to... We The resident power matrix is down. The resident power matrix? Yes, sir. That, that sounds bad. Is that bad? Oh, I, God. I, uh, I, it's, I know you don't know a lot about ships, Ellie, but I know every bolt and weld in this old girl, and the resident power matrix, that's... That's really bad. I don't want to be too technical about it right now, but that's that's terrible. That's that's the heart of the ship right there. <laughs> Our ship has a heart? No, yes. it's a metaphor- Met- metaphorically. Oh, <laughs> metaphorically speaking, got it. Yeah, no. Uh, anyway, sir, it, this is good involves several steps. Uh, one of us is going to have to go outside and repair the outer solar array. Wait, we lost the resonant power matrix and the outer solar array. Yes, sir. This is dire. Okay, Ellie, do you have a compact? I mean, like on me? Yeah, yeah. What are the, like for checking your lipstick or something like that, or your your blusher? Is that a thing? I have no idea for makeup. <laughs> Captain, uh, I... we really have to talk about your knowledge of makeup. But yes, of course, I carry a compact. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna need that uh, to fix the the uh, the outer solar array. I can use the mirrors on that. Anyway, it's very sciencey and technical, but I'm pretty sure I can get it up and running with just that, and maybe. Some chewing gum, thankfully. Okay. No, we're set on that. Okay, so Ellie, uh, go to the bridge of the ship, please. Uh, send out a distress signal and start scanning if you can get any biological lives so we can at least try to get Devmo's remains back to Earth uh, for a proper funeral. And Dr. Swickness, if you can get to the resident power matrix, please, um, I will make my way to the outer solar array and we'll see if we can get this old girl humming again, okay? Yes, sir. Everybody right. knows what they're doing? Yeah, no. Okay, one more time before. Uh, Ellie, if you could start us off, please. One. Two. Doc- Dr. Swickness, you're, you're three. Sorry, three. We that, In an emergency situation, it's important to make sure that everyone is here and accounted for. So one more time, Ellie, if you could start. One. Two. Three. Okay, good. All right. Thank, all right. thank you, Captain. You're an inspiration to us all. Can we please all just right. fix this yep. problem yep. before we lose the life support altogether? All right. Sounds great. That sounds bad. It feels like we're forgetting something, though. I don't think so, sir. We re- Priority one is getting this ship back up to, together. It's like a nagging feeling in the back of my head. No, no sir. I mean, this. Uh, I can't think of a higher priority than this. I'm sure it'll come to me. Well, it's a larger settlement, at least. I'll uh, not tell people that we trespassed into cursed lands and stole some sort of artifact. Yeah, I think that'd probably be a good idea, sir. All right. Oh, sort away, sort away. Go ahead, sir. I'm saying that we we are just humble travelers, and um, are looking for somewhere dry. Oh, she she's happy to help us and uh, is offered us some stew. Oh, great! Think we can eat it, sir? Uh, what? Well, I am hungry. You couldn't have brought that up five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, no, it feels actually it does feel a little. Yeah. Um, that does feel a little weird. Um, I am starting to. Are you? I don't. I don't know. I feel very warm and. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Are you seeing something a little strange? Uh huh. Uh huh. 